What is it about a lizard, only inches in length, that have some saying it could threaten the Texas economy? Land. If the government lists the dune lizard as an endangered species, it will restrict land use in five Texas counties. Maybe it would impact the ability to put wind towers up. Maybe that would impact the ability to drill uh, for new oil uh, or produce oil in certain areas. And we're a very oil dependent uh, country. This is not the time to be uh, impeding the ability to do that. Environmentalists say it's not just about saving the lizard, but their land. They insist that's critical to reduce land erosion. When you remove a species from the ecosystem, then it all starts to unravel. The defenders of wildlife say they can work together to protect the lizard, the environment, and the economy. They also argue it's not that much land. The land that we're talking about is 200 acres. Right now, they say it's only 200 acres, but do we know that it's only 200 acres? Do these animals stay in one spot? The people defending property rights say if land restrictions become policy, it could mean higher gas prices and lost jobs. It could um, shut down an entire industry. You have oil and gas, which is a big part of the uh, Texas economy. That's how people make their livelihood. And if that's affected, um, then those people are going to lose their jobs. We have high gas prices already. And so when you um, start messing with that, um, it, it affects the entire American economy. As the debate continues between prosperity and preservation, it has also become a balancing act between two American ideals. It's uh, taking away people's property rights. The right to own property is a fundamental right. And so, especially in the West, people went out West because they were able to own property. Protecting the environment and protecting fish and wildlife is, is, a, is an American value. Congressman Nagabauer wants a moratorium on expanding the endangered species list. For now, the dune lizard is safe, and no one's drawn a line in the sand. In Washington, D.C., Emily Chernikowski, KLBK News.